Hello folks, we are at uh, Riviera Cancun in uh, Cancun, Mexico. This is a Jack Nicklaus uh, signature course. And the Scottish Lynx design, tricky with the wind. As you see, we are very close to the ocean, so breeze is always a factor. And uh, my word of advice in this golf course, be humble, you will enjoy. fairway. Uh, didn't hit it really good. Caught it a little bit on the heel, but uh, it should be about a hundred yards. I'll take it. Landed about 120 yards from the center of the green, which will leave me about a hundred yard shot, I guess. And uh, we've got a crosswind coming off the coming off the ocean left to right. So I'm gonna try to hold it down into the wind and uh, see if we can get ourselves a bird. I came out of that shot a little bit and left it about 30 feet right of the flag stick. The wind grabbed it and also pushed it away. Need to stay down and through the ball a little bit better. <laughs> There's so much to do here in Cancun. Uh, as you can see, the water sports are great. The, the golf, the, the tours. Chichen Itza, which is one of the seven wonders of the world, is, is only an hour and a half away. There's so much to do. It makes the Palace Resort such an attractive destination here in Cancun. Okay, here we are over at the Riviera Cancun Golf and Resorts out on the ocean front, uh, right on the beach with the the ocean right behind me. Um, the Riviera Cancun Golf and Resort is another Jack Nicklaus signature design, 18-hole championship course that uh, offers a little bit of a different style uh, compared to the Moonspawn Golf Club. The Riviera Cancun Golf and Resort opened a couple years ago in 2008. Uh, very soft opening. And uh, here we are now in the early part of 2011, and we've brought, we've brought the golf course through a number of challenges, everything from environmental um, restrictions and concerns and to, to con golf course construction and, and a number of other nuances that have just been really something to overcome. But we, we're on the other side now. Golf course is coming along great, earning a reputation in Cancun as one of the most challenging golf courses and a spectacular test of golf. It's a link style course. Uh, Nicholas created something here that would that people would find uh, challenging, and they would have to think their way around the golf course. Cancun. I'm playing from the white tees. 
today. It's 479 yards, pretty much straightaway hole. A lot of wind blowing across the fairway today. Um, so I'll try to maneuver my way away from the bunkers. Like a, little, a little too much draw on that one. We uh, managed to miss the bunkers though. Par five, plenty of shots to, to get there. Okay, we're in the left-hand rough on the par five hole number three. This looks like we have about 130 yards to the flag. I'm gonna see what I can do to get it up there in the wind and turn it over a little bit. Maybe we can get it on the green and even get a four. That was a misread and a half. Uh, I'm still about 12 feet away. What you'll see out here on this course is the ocean side, the wings course. There's not any tall trees. It's wide open spaces. It's about the wind. It's about the positioning of the bunkers and the water hazards. bump and run shots that uh, uh, really bring out the creativity in a player. And it's a shot maker's course. It's not a sit back and rip them as far as you can type of course. It's it's a kind of it's a course that you need to think around and I would say just to be very creative. <laughs> I managed to misread this putt about 12 feet wrong so we're gonna do the best we can now but uh, we're looking at a pretty severe break here right to left maybe eight inches on this 12 foot putt. Misread again <laughs> but we'll tap it in for a par. ball on the green in two and then four putts. That is not recommended. <laughs> Hi, we are here in uh, Riviera Cancun. This is uh, bar, in, uh, bar three, it's number four. As you can see, you just have to cross the water flag is located at around 125 yards, but we are facing a severe wind from uh, left, from uh, right to left. So let's try to do the best out of it. Wow. Oh, we got lucky. Always says there is only space in the scorecard for a number. 
<laughs> hey folks, you know what? Jimmy Buffett has a great line that says they're freezing up in Buffalo and I'm lying down here beneath the stars in the shade or something like that. You can't help but feeling that Jimmy Buffett's going to pop out around a corner someplace down here in Riviera Maya. This Riviera course is outstanding. It almost has a Palm Beach feel to it. I'm going to give it a swing right now. I'm not playing great golf, but I tell you what, I was drinking great cold beer on the beach last night, so it doesn't really matter. Let's tee it up. Randy, described to me where that ball just went. <laughs> that ball went back down to the beach where I want to be, down there where the senoritas are. <laughs> Now we're on hole number eight, par three, another great par three. In fact, Riviera Cancun is uh, full of great par threes. And 144 yards from the white tees again, downwind, gonna try to knock down a little nine iron here. Cancun International Airport is in sight, right here. Five minutes in the car from the airport. You can actually focus in on the tower from here. If you swing the camera to the left, focus in on the tower, the other left. 